Hi, everybody. Welcome into the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com, and we're going to be talking about Friday's Copa America Group A match between Chile and Peru. This is El Clásico del Pacífico, which is uh, the Pacific Classic and is most certainly a South American rivalry match. These two are neighboring countries. Uh, they don't particularly care for each other, particularly on the soccer field. So a big, enormous match for both to start things off. And it'll be played at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Seats 80,000. Don't think it will get that. But it will be a match that will set up also uh, the United States debuting on Sunday against Bolivia at Jerry World. And there will also be a quarterfinal in Arlington. So one of three matches to be played at AT&T Stadium. Uh, and certainly it will be heavily attended. And it will also be the match that is dubbed the Ricardo Gareca Bowl. Gareca was the Peru manager for almost a decade. I mean, he's the most decorated manager in uh, that team's history, despite the fact that he's from Argentina. Um, longest tenured ever, winningest, losingest, most draws. Only Marcos Calderon, who died in the 1987 uh, Alianza Lima crash that killed uh, a lot of players and uh, him, himself as well, um, is more decorated in uh, Peruvian coaching lore. He won the 1975 Copa America, which is the last time that Peru won this competition. It's uh, obviously the, the Copa America, if you don't know, is the longest running uh, intercontinental uh, tournament in the world. Uh, typically, it only uh, is played within the 10 teams and 10 countries that make up South America. But over the years, uh, they've in extended invites to uh, Japan and Qatar have played in it in the last decade. Uh, and obviously, the United States, this will be their fifth appearance. So over the years, they've kind of expanded the field. But they, we do have a 16-team field as the United States will host this event. The U.S. last hosted the Centenario, which was uh, the 100th year anniversary of the event back in 2015. Uh, so that's also when the United States finished fourth and uh, Chile ended up winning. So Chile's hoping that being back on American soil will bring good luck. They are the favorite in this match, laying a half goal or uh, at plus 105 as the favorite. So slight plus money. A draw pays 215 and Peru to win outright and pulling the upset is at plus 320. Uh, Gareca, like I said, is now at the helm of the Chilean side just took over in uh, 2024. So he's had three matches with the squad and they've all been pretty good. I mean, they, they went out to Europe and destroyed Albania. Albania given a good account of itself at Euro 2024. They beat them three nothing uh, and uh, in Italy at, at Parma. And then they also played uh, France pretty well, uh, going up one nil inside of 10 minutes. They ultimately lost three to two. And they're coming off an impressive win, 3-0 over Paraguay uh, on June 11th. Uh, Davila scored a couple of goals for Chile, and uh, Vargas also added one. Eduardo Vargas is one of the big guns on the squad. Currently, he's the favorite to score in this match. A first score would be plus 500 at DraftKings. Anytime score, he's the favorite at plus 220. Uh, so Chile... I believe is going to win this match. That's where we're going here. We're going to ride Chile plus 105 to beat Peru. Uh, the total is at two. I think we'll get either one or two goals. So the lean here is to the under. Um, it, it, it's Jorge Forsetti's fifth squad, uh, appearance as the head coach of the, um, the Peruvian national side. They had a brutal year last year uh, in replacing uh, – Carreca, with uh, his replacement, just couldn't get it done. They had one match as a, under a caretaker and, and then hired for Fosati, who's from uh, Uruguay. He has won three times and drawn once since taking over in December. But all those victories against teams they should have beat, Nicaragua, the Dominican Republic, and El Salvador, and uh, the Peruvians come off a scoreless draw against Paraguay on June 7th in Lima. Uh, Peru has won seven Copa America matches between these squads. Chile has won eight, and there have been six draws, or seven draws, I should say. So certainly competitive. Uh, if you're interested in the referee of this game, it's going to be a, a Brazilian, all-Brazilian crew um, with uh, the, the uh, ref being 
uh, somebody that Peru has never won with, Wilson Sampaio. Uh, he has, uh, there have been a few draws, and actually in 2019, Peru drew against Uruguay, and they advanced on penalty kicks in that match. In the quarterfinals, ultimately, they lost to Brazil in that final, and that's the best that Peru has done in a, quite, a, quite some time in the Copa America, uh, so they're looking to uh, make a run here as well, as is Chile. Uh, really not many uh, matches that Sampaio has wrapped the Chileans, uh, last being in 2016 in a World Cup qualifier against Colombia. So that's where we're at here with Peru and Chile. Uh, some names you might know, uh, Pedro Galese from Orlando City is the goalie. Um, they, they'll also have uh, Carlos Zambrano, one of the better defenders from uh, Peru, as is Luis Alvincula, who plays in Argentina. Up front, they will go with uh, Brian Reina as uh, one of the uh, strikers, uh, and either uh, Gianluca Padu, uh, or Sergio Peña or, or Flores. Uh, and the Chilean side, it's, it's a mixed mixture of youth and veterans. Alexis Sanchez is obviously the big name there. Eduardo Vargas also up front, as I mentioned, the favorite to score a goal in this match. One other prop that you might want to look out for is Wilmer Cartagena from Peru is even money to get a card. He's a physical player. But our bet for this free pick video is to ride Chile uh, to win outright. You get plus 105 at most books. We'll ride Chile over Peru in this Group A match. We want you to pulverize that like button and uh, make sure that you're following all our videos here at Wager Talk TV uh, so that you can get all our, our free content. We've got a bunch of stuff planned for Euro 2024 and Copa America in addition to MLB, MMA, golf, uh, you name it, we cover it and uh, we do so well, if I may say. So make sure you're enjoying our free content and or subscribe. Check out all of our deals at both Wager Talk and Sports Memo. We can have uh, something up right now that gets you the rest of June's plays from your favorite handicapper free if you purchase all of July. So take advantage of all those deals. You can uh, scan out packages on my on my page at uh, sm.buzz slash tdm. There are also free plays available there. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro with the spelling down there below. Once again, don't forget to like and ride Chile over Peru on Friday in a Group A Copa America match in Arlington. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Tony Mejia. Have a wonderful weekend.